Hello, and welcome to this course designed to help folks who are struggling with thoughts or urges about sexual behavior towards children. If you're watching this, uh, you might be curious, you might have reached a decision uh, that something has to change, or you could be an instructor, educator, or therapist looking for some tools. You may have caught yourself before before you cross the line and touched a child or harmed a child or maybe that's already happened and you realize that something uh, has to change before you do it again. My name is Dr. Tom Graves. I've spent my career helping folks with these urges. I've uh, spoken with um, well over a thousand guys who have had this problem and I've learned from every one of them the ways that uh, this pattern of urges uh, evolves within people's lives as well as how to develop strategies uh, that can be effective. I want to congratulate you on having the courage to tackle something that is first of all so taboo uh, and can make somebody feel so ashamed uh, but also can be very irresistible for some people. Uh, and for some folks, it uh, is almost feels like it's at the core of their being. And it does take a lot of courage uh, to face this head on and try to make some changes. Uh, and I want to reassure you that no matter how harmful this can be to a child, uh, and it, you know, the Internet is very, uh, there's a lot of information about uh, victims and the effects that it can have on victims. In fact, all you have to do is look on YouTube and there's some pretty heartbreaking stories uh, that are told by kids that were victims of sexual abuse. Um, as harmful as that is to the individual, uh, it can also be extremely destructive to the person who does the molesting uh, or is looking at the child pornography as well as their families uh, their employers, their classmates, their communities, etc. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is, as we'll see through this course, no matter how unusual or out there your urges are, or at least seem to be, they come from basic, normal human needs. So while the thing you have the urge to do is harmful against the law or concerning to you, the underlying needs are normal. We'll talk a lot more about it later, uh, but for now, let's just say that um, things like a desire for sex, a desire for pleasure, intimacy, acceptance, things like that are normal human needs. Uh, and part of this purpose of this course is going to be to help you uh, find ways to get those needs met in a much healthier and less problematic way. If you've already molested a child, you should consider turning yourself in. Now, on the surface, uh, this might seem foolish to some people, and certainly it does, in many cases, lead to prosecution. But there's at least three reasons why you should at least consider this. The first uh, has to do with the child his or herself. The less it goes on for him or her, and the sooner they get some help, the less damaging it is for them, or, or the more chance there is of them having a normal life. So by informing somebody about this, you are thinking of the child first and not of yourself. Another reason to at least consider it is because if you're the one reporting it and it's not found out through other means, there's a good chance, although no guarantee, that you can get some leniency from in the prosecution, which if you know anything about uh, the sentencing guideline or the sentencing of offenders, you can take all the leniency you could get. And perhaps the, th the third one that comes to my mind right away is that by stopping yourself now, you're robbing yourself of the chance to do something even worse 
that could get you even more charges and worse charges and get you in far deeper hot water legally and criminally. So at least consider that. That's if you've already crossed the line. This course is designed to be entertaining as well as enlightening. Um, it's set up pretty conversationally. Um, I do try to keep an order to it, so at least you know what the subject is. Um, but there's also some videos, there's a few jokes along the way, there's um, a music video that's on YouTube as well, but I included it here, uh, as well as some notes about you know what I was talking about in it. So there's some self-tests, there's a whole bunch of things that you should find useful um, as well as interesting. This course is not heavy on um, shaming you or trying to guilt you into uh, stopping. Um, certainly uh, there's enough other uh, messages out there like that, but the problem is they don't tend to stop anybody. In fact, by making folks feel worse, in some cases, they make it more likely that the person will actually do something so that they can forget about that shame and guilt. We'll be spending a lot of time uh, looking at various pieces of this process of the development of the urges, um, as well as lines of defense starting with when you're having an urge and you are at risk all the way back to how to live your life in such a way that you reduce the likelihood of even having the urge. Um, we're going to talk about brain science, we're going to look at child development and how that affects people uh, in terms of their beliefs and attitudes, uh, but the first thing that we want to take care of is a triage lesson that you can do some self-assessment to see if this course is uh, actually what you need or if you need something that's more of an intervention than this course is. We'll also be looking at effects on victims and I just want to emphasize again that this course is, while it's therapeutic and it's designed to help you begin to do the therapy that can make a change in your life. It is not a substitute for therapy with someone who's qualified to deal with these issues, who can address your specific needs uh, and the specific aspects about your issues. This course is the product of having worked with many, many guys, so you're likely to find something useful here but I need to make sure that you understand that it is not a substitute for therapy. And I can't guarantee uh, that by watching this course that it's going to stop everybody from ever having an urge to do uh, this again uh, or to look at child pornography or to molest a child. If you see this course through and you apply it, you will have many strategies, many lines of defense that you will be able to implement uh, and possibly even to reduce the overall amount or severity of the urges uh, so that you can live your life without getting into trouble and there will be if that happens um, there will be fewer kids that are harmed and you'll have a chance to live a normal life as well so again thank you for their courage to uh, try to get some help and we'll see you in the next lesson.